Hi. Do you want your gaming news delivered in a saucy way? Well, guess what? I've got you covered, yeah? As many of you will know, Microsoft and Xbox are trying to acquire Activision Blizzard King for around $70 billion. And the question on everyone's mind is, will this big deal go through? And if so, when? Xbox is contending with the recently emboldened FTC in the US that wants to clamp down on the tech industry and the consolidation within it. There are also international regulators and the governing bodies that Microsoft has to deal with. And Brazil is one of them. Interestingly, Brazil requires some open disclosure on submissions made by corporations who have to offer their opinions on such deals. And as a result, we get a very interesting glimpse into the mindset of these corporations, in particular Sony, when it comes to this proposed acquisition. The long and short of it is Sony is scared. Hey! Okay, maybe concern, shall we say concern? First, let's talk about player engagement. Some folks from a certain corner somewhere downplay the utility of MAUs or monthly active users as a stat to assess the success of a platform. Well, Sony has in the past and now again cited the importance of player engagement. Sony has said that players choose their gaming platform based on pricing, tech features and type of game modes, including gaming content. Pricing, eh? That's interesting considering PlayStation charges $70 for its first party games. Sony's putting forward the argument that the low upfront cost of subscription services, namely Xbox Game Pass, could be anti-competitive compared to an upfront fee. And check this out. Sony thinks it could harm consumers by reducing the quality of their games. Oh yeah, ask our good Brazilian friends just how not so harmful a $70 price tag for a single game is over there, yeah? But Sony has its own subscription service, PlayStation Plus, so isn't it guilty as well? Well, actually Sony in a roundabout way is basically admitting that PlayStation Plus sucks compared to Xbox Game Pass. Why? Well, it pointed out to the fact that Game Pass has captured approximately 60 to 70% of the global sub market. And check this out. Sony believes it would take several years for a competitor, even with substantial investments, to create a rival for Game Pass. Sony said it, not me. Sony is quite clearly angling for the anti-competitive stance here which is so ironic to me considering its own legacy in this space and its money-hatting antics. <coughs> oh, and uh, PlayStation desperately needs Call of Duty. Before anyone tries to downplay it or come at me, this is what Sony is saying. Sony believes that none of these developers could create a franchise to rival Activision's Call of Duty, which Sony considers a whole gaming category in its own right. <laughs> Downplay that. <laughs> Don't you leave me! <laughs> PlayStation simply cannot compete. That is what Sony is saying, an open admission of the obvious, yet some still continue to deny that to this day. <laughs> some characters rather foolishly believe that PlayStation Plus is on a level playing field with Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> video incoming it's interesting how sony's position is so different from the other companies and publishers yeah they offered their view on it most were really not that concerned but of course sony has a lot to fear here yeah self-preservation and all that the acquisition of abk is not going to be a smooth one expect a lot of contention and not just from poor old Sony but also the FTC which is intent on making an example out of the tech industry. This past weekend our good friend Hoggy Chani discussed how Facebook or Meta faced the FTC's wrath. Had a couple, there were a couple of people short, they got the nominations in, Lena Khan is now the leader of it. They finally got their uh, fifth person and now that they have full strength the first thing they do is block Meta from getting a nothing burger stupid fitness app 
uh, on VR, okay? And if that is the, the direction they're going, and the reason they're saying this is, Meta, you could go hire your own people and make your own thing. And it's like, that's not none of your business. Like your job is to check if it's going to be a problem for consumers. Competitively, right? Yeah. And do check out Hug Law's great video on it as well. So things are hotting up as the stakes get higher. What do you think about Sony's comments here? Should PlayStation be as worried as they quite obviously are? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and do you like the format of this new news piece section? More regular uploads like this? Come on, yeah. Let me know if you do in the comment section. I can be your hero, baby, for your daily gaming news fix. If you haven't registered to the sexiest, dankest gaming site in the world, GameOnDaily.com, do it now. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I shall see you very, very shortly. I'll be your day.